Hi, this is Teresa. I'm here to do a wig review on this unit I have on my head. Also, I'm going to do an eyeshadow look with, I think, this palette right here. This is the LA Colors Matte uh, Palette uh, Black Lace. It says CEM475. And I have this one, this CEM472 Bronze tweed brown tweed uh, I might use the, maybe the brown or something in here maybe not but this is the one I want to do the look with I want to do like a maybe a gray smoky eye or something and I'm gonna see if I can do it I think I paid 199 for this little palette um, and I'm gonna see how this works out okay with that being said the wig I have on my head today is by It's a Wig and it's uh, Magic. NTT 2730 is the number, the color, which is like a golden color. And it came in this container packaging. It had like a little box, you know, enclosure for it, but I got rid of it. Uh, picture of her the stock card with the model she has, she has it feathered I love this wig in this color I had it also in the purple color but I don't have it anymore I got rid of it I wore it out so anyway here goes it has a part a, a lace part that's uh, two combs here and here it comes almost down to my ears about right here and I have a big head it's a comb and straps in the back it's layered as you can see very beautiful very very beautiful comb through it a little bit you can fluff it out or you know it comes like layered out you know with the curls you can just leave it and just finger comb it but i think you get a better look if you comb through it with an actual comb now the the coloring how it's the two-tone uh, you have the darker roots doesn't go all the way as you can see i guess you could use a black marker around here to darken this up if you wanted to but the way i wear it down you really don't see it unless you really get a bad wind gust this side like I said it doesn't go all the way dark roots so you can darken that if you want it this is the side the back it's shorter very short in the back so there's two long pieces on the side the other side Beautiful. This long piece. All right, with that being said, let's get started on this makeup look. All right, if you know me, I like to do my lips first. So I'm going in with this pencil, which you can, it's like a pinky. This is World by MAC. It's a pink color. You can use any pink color cheap pink pencil that's normally what I do but I didn't have one on hand I'm just gonna use this to line my lips I think you could get away with a brown lip liner also the look I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to keep this um, low budget like I said you could use any pink lip liner or no lip liner at all this is LA uh, girl and the color is it's matte lipstick uh, velvet Let's see if we can see the color together I don't even remember what it is Uh, what color? 
won't see it right off. If I find out what it is, I'll link it below. But it's just a cheap, very cheap pink lipstick. Very bright. I'm going to have to change this out. Hmm. Very bright. Hmm. Might change it out. <laughs> All right. So with the eyes, I'm going to put this e.l.f. primer for the eyes on first. <sighs> Prime the lids. I go all the way up to the brow. So today is Sunday. I just came from my son's football game. They lost the game. But they're still in the playoffs. So I have at least a couple more weeks of games to go to. And it's very nice out today, too. All right, so I got this on. Uh, what's what I blush on? I'm going with this blush, which I got it on clearance. And it's broken. I think that's why it was on clearance. This is... Um, uh, what is this by... Oh, Milani baked um, baked eyeshadow in number ten. All right, let's see if I can get this out. It's a pink color. Like I said, it's broken. So let's try to be careful and blush all over the place. Oh God, it's bad. Oh. I don't think it was broke like this when I purchased it, but as I told some of you before, maybe remember, I live with boys. I already put my highlighter on. Ooh, I don't think this is the right color blush either. This pink is way light. Go put any more because that's really, really, really light. I thought it would like go, you know, darken up in my skin. All pinks don't work on brown skin. I gotta be, I think, a brown base pink. I'm not even feeling this lip color. Mm -mm. Probably gonna take it off. Okay. Let's go into the eyes. I should have took the little sealing thing off before I got started. <laughs> and I'm going to use a flat shader brush. I'm going to put this, uh, I guess I'll go with. This gray right here, the middle one on the lid. Try to pack it on. And I'm going to use my mirror instead of trying to use the camera. So we're going to pack that all over the lid. I 
gonna put the other one. And then I'm going to take a, a fluffy brush and blend that out. I'm gonna do like a Barbie look with the pink lips and the gray black eyes. If I can get that combo right, we'll see in a minute. Might have to put some brown in the lips. Oh well, anyway. Next, I'm gonna use. Let's see. Uh, looking for. Work for the crease. We'll see. All right, with that, I'm gonna use the gray. I'm thinking this one, the last one on the end. The last gray on the end. So I use this one on the lid. I'm gonna use this one in the crease. This one. Put that down in the wig. I wipe this uh, fluffy brush back over. Start trying to blend that out. What are you talking about? You went to church, you can go. You already went to church, you can go with your friend. Sorry people, life called. Get some more. Put me in the V. Try to intensify it on the V. Get out so far.
I'm going to put some, we got product on this big one. I just want to scoop and press the whole section. Intensify that and crease. The last color that I used on the, um, on the crease on the end of the thing. That's all I want. Going back to on the uh, lid with um, this one, the middle one, this black shade of brush. Mostly concentrating it right where the eyeball is, maybe a little bit toward the front, not toward the rear. Not toward the where I was going to be at, just right here. And then I'm going to take the um, the light gray, this one, this one right here. Um, you can see this one, and I'm going to put it on my uh, brow. Um, this brush. Again, I'm going to take this color right here. Not the white one. The um, really soft gray. And I'm going to take uh, this gray right here. And I'm going to put this on my, or underneath my lash line, the bottom lash line. The bottom lash line I'm going to put. It. I know I talk so low. I'm trying to remember to talk louder. smoke it out and before I forget I'm gonna use my smolder by Mac you can use any drugstore um, eyeliner I just happen to have this close by Put this in my waterline. All right, now I'm gonna do this. Guess I can make up here. Do it. I'm thinking with that gray, 
gonna run this on the last line above too. So I have my old five lashes on that I got done two weeks ago at the beauty salon. They look like they're ready to come back to come off. This is how it's looking so far. Um, let's see. Putting some more of that end color, that dark gray. In the, um, above the crease a little bit. Gonna smoke it out around. And I'm going to take some of this first white right here and do my inner tear duct. So again, taking this one right here. Try to bring it in a little bit, like right here, bringing it in a little bit, try to brighten that whole area. Wiping off any excess product. Just gonna go around here one more time. You know, just trying to think if I'm feeling the pink on now. I think I'm going to change it. So I'm going to keep it on until I finish. You can do the bottom lashes too, but I'm not. You remember? Let's do my eyebrows. I just put a little bit of the black. Something needs to be filled in. With that line all about the brows, like that. Put 
mask on when it stays right there. Yeah, like I said, you probably could do the bottom lashes. I don't think I will today. Hmm, not too bad. The pink. I get I think you could pull the pink off if you put a brown liner with it. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, oh, beautiful. That's it. And you can move this up. I don't even think I have the wig all the way to the front. I think you could get it up a little bit further so you really don't have to have much of your edges showing. You see? You don't have to have that much of them showing. And then you secure that down with some Gorilla Snot or something like that. But I had it back because, like I said, I knew that mine wasn't going to be showing. Because of the way that I had it styled. Oh my gosh, look how it falls. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm going to change this lip color out. I'm going to go in with some um, Night Moth on that. Now, if I was going to change lip colors, I definitely would put some more um, uh, lip balm on because I feel my lips dry right now. That LA stuff. Drying my lips that fast. And let's see what color can I use. Um, right, I do have oh, let me see this little matte joint right here. Uh, I think so this is color color grain. This is uh. Plum Fairy Matte. Okay, let's go with that since I can't see the other one. Takes the eye to a different level. It makes to me more like a nighttime look. This lip color on. Your mama think you need dark hair. Pull this off. Lord, please give me the right lip color. <laughs> Y'all stop laughing at me. <laughs> so I wanted to go with the pink and keep it light. Let me see this other one. This is a MAC something something. Let me see one more time if I can get it to show. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I do. A, um, if I'm able to see what it is, I gotta get my magnifying glass out. If I'm able to see, I'll put it in the description box. It's not as harsh as the as the plum fairy. It's 
still don't think it's not the right color. Not with this hair. I would like to switch the hair out to something black. But I wanted to wear this. That's why I tried to go with the pink. I look just like y'all. Do this work? <laughs> Somebody tell me. I think my hair should be black if I'm wearing this lip and this eye. I'm trying to let you look at what I did with the eye. Remember, I used on the lid, I used this one. In a tear duct, I used this one. For the um, brow bone, I used this one. And for the crease, I used this one. For underneath um, the bottom lash line, I used and top. Um, the bottom lash line and then the top lash line close to the lashes. I use this one right here. Dollar ninety nine. I think I got it at either Big Lots or Family Dollar. I like simple something you're going out in the evening, dinner. You might kick it away in the daytime with a very light lip. Very light. This is not light. You're really making me mad. Camera. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I turned this video off right now. Like, this shit gets crazy. I just feel like it's too dark. It's way too dark. So I'm going back with the original. Yes, we're ladies. We're allowed to change our mind. Maybe mix with the purple. It's doable. better Get the purple edging it up but it's very drying I already feel that now so this hair um it sheds a little not much frizzes a little not much very beautiful it's an eye catcher trust and believe I always have people looking when I wear this one We'll catch some guy's eye if that's what you're trying to do. Yes, you will. You will catch his eye. Heads will turn when you enter a room. So be prepared. This is a beautiful wig. It's the wig magic. Mm. Hi. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love I love some hair in my eyes. Don't get me started. <laughs> um, it's wig magic. Let me make sure you have the details. Um, and the color NTT twenty seven thirty. Yes, my paper fell on the floor. NTT 2730. It's a wig, and the name of the wig is Magic. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have uh, the rest of the day be peaceful and joyous.